Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America, and some tragic and unfortunate news has come in for Senate Minority Leader and Kentucky Senator Mitch McConnell. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those little things really help us out, and they help our channel continue to grow. So the Kentucky Senator, as you know, froze when he was talking to reporters again this past week. It's the second time this summer that this has happened to him, and it's caused quite a bit of concern among Republicans, Democrats, casual observers, and some in the medical field. Unfortunately for Mitch McConnell, the prognosis is not good if these very well-respected doctors are to be believed. One of the doctors is Dr. Mark Siegel of Fox News. The other is Dr. Sanjay Gupta of CNN. Let's take a look at what they have to say. Thanks for being here. What did you see with uh, Senator McConnell's freeze again today? Brad, I saw a freeze. And we, in medicine, we use some term called the differential diagnosis. And I have to tell you, at the top of that list, and again, I haven't examined them, and I don't have any background on this, except I've talked to some people in Congress and in the Senate, would be Parkinson's disease, because that, in its later stages, can give you a freeze, and it can also explain why no one around him in these freezes is panicking and saying, this could be a stroke, this could be a seizure. It could be those things, too, by the way. But again, then you would rush him into immediate treatment and analysis. You'd do an MRI, you would do an uh, EEG to see if it could be a seizure. But if it's Parkinson's, you already know about that and somebody diagnosed that clinically by doing an examination and treatment helps by the way again i'm not saying that's what it is but i think what's really striking here is that alarm bells didn't immediately go off among medical personnel around yeah. and it's very common in the latter stages now in terms of a shuffling gait it would explain the falls wouldn't it but he had polio as an early child but polio would not explain these freezes brett yeah, and you mentioned that, that fall a couple months ago. Um, Long list of possibilities here. I think what we saw was was pretty concerning. I think uh, most people could see that. It was, it was similar to what we saw in July, where there's this freezing. It's the freezing of the speech. It's the freezing of the body. It's the tight sort of grasping of the side of the, the lectern. I think one of his aides tried to come over and even lift his arm, and he was, he was grasping pretty tightly. Obviously, his face even sort of has this mask-like sort of feature to it. So there's a lot of things that are, that are going on there. Um, you know, pe people will talk about, could this be some sort of vascular thing, like a transient ischemic attack? Perhaps, although he, he walks out of there uh, just a, a few, it's about 30 seconds, I think, that he's frozen. Uh, a seizure, possibly something like that. It could be something like uh, when somebody comes off of their medications for things like Parkinson's, when the medications start to wear off, they may start to have freezing episodes as well. It was, again, just about 30 seconds. So it, it comes and it goes pretty rapidly. I think one of the things that was really noticeable to me is that when his aides approached him, um, they did not seem so surprised by this. It's, and while we've seen it a couple of times, uh, it, you got the impression that this happens much more often. They didn't seem particularly alarmed by it. If it was the first time or an unknown thing, I think there would have probably been more of a, uh, of a rush or an interest, at least in getting into a doctor more quickly. I think, I think Manu mentioned last time, he, we're not even sure that he went to go see a doctor after. It sounds like he did this time. But I think that that's an important point as well. Whatever this is, it's not unusual, I think, for him and his staff. Yeah. Now, of course, there's no way for us to know or for them to know exactly what Senator McConnell has because they haven't examined him. I'm not a doctor, and I haven't examined him, and it would kind of be weird for me to examine him because I'm not a doctor. But they haven't examined him either. But judging by their expertise in the field, it's hard to believe they would be so wildly incorrect, both coming from two different networks, presumably not talking to each other before this, and, you know, you just pray for the best for Senator McConnell. He, he had polio as a child. He's had, you know, some, some troubles in his life. And, you know, listen, no matter what you think of his politics, no matter what you think of him as a person even, I think we can all agree we don't want to see harm come to him. I would like him to, you know, hand over the reins of the Republican leadership in the Senate and just enjoy his, his latter years and then when this term is over, you know, let another Republican take his place in Kentucky as a senator. So absolutely keep the senator in your prayers. And, you know, let's see what happens from here. But this is twice now in front of cameras. 
who knows how many times without cameras present. Folks, I want your comments on this story, and I also want you to like, share, and subscribe because that does really help us out. I'm Carmine Sabia. This is Explain America. We love you guys. God bless you. Take care, everybody.